Hello and welcome back to Dot Hack Outbreak. If you joined us on our last video, you saw me hand it to Cubia, tried to come at us a second time, and was defeated for a second time. Also, today is a very special day. It's August 9th, 2024. That means it's Dot Hack Day. This is a very special day for Dot Hack fans that I, I found out through social media there on X. And this is the day where you just show your love for Dot Hack. You go out there on your social media platforms, you post your stuff on Dot Hack on your social media. You tell people that you enjoy this game, you enjoyed the anime, you loved reading the manga, you play all the games, you. you like to do other stuff with dot hack that I, I'm not gonna mention these other things you know use your imagination I'm pretty sure you'll come up with something but it's all in hopes that Bandai Namco will remake the original dot hack series on the PlayStation 2 the one that I have been playing here on my YouTube channel they've remade dot hack GU which was the series that follows this one comes after this series and even add an additional game to it to you know further the story on it but for this series there hasn't really been much movement or for getting any type of remake or anything like that and I think it has a lot to do with who owns it everyone believed it was CC Corp and I think CC Corp came out and said we do not own the game rights Bandai Namco does. So people have been trying to tell Bandai Namco, people including myself, to remake this series. And well, I guess we just gotta see what happens. But get on your social media platform, get out there and tell everybody Dot Hack is better than Sword Art Online. And it will always be better. Anyways, let's go check the mail. God. Damn, that's a lot of mail. It's everybody. Everybody. I don't think we got anything from Mistral. A couple from Black Rose. Uh, nothing from Elk. Nothing from Mia. I think it's just gonna be people saying like, Hey, I'm gonna be available. Hey, I'm not gonna be available. Hey, I'm doing things. I don't know. Let's, let's get to reading. Black Rose. Perfect. Contact me when you're ready. Just leave everything to me. I'll wait for you at that town's chaos gate. Oh, and look at the board before you come. Later. So take it, we're gonna get a new set of words of things that we're gonna need to go do. Rachel, jobs. Hey, how you doing? Trying to meditate a trade takes too much effort and the times call for a courier service. So I started an item carrier business and I got a deliver to expansive corrupted ridgeline. But the monsters there are strong, so I want you to help me. You'll help me, right? Yeah, I knew you would. Well, I'm locked in, so call me. Call me. Moonstone treasure. Moon knife located. Dying grieving battlefield. I like the name of that one. Dying Grieving Battlefield. It's a pretty cool name. Black Rose, current events. There's unusual weather all over the world. I wonder what's going on. Uh, global warming. Really? Didn't know that. We don't want to make it seem like we don't read the news. We want to come across as someone who's cool who reads the news. Unusual weather? Yeah. I wonder what's happening. There we go. You know, it's not an agree. Not an agree, gentlemen. Wise man, card games. I'm infatuated with card games. How about you, Kite? How do you feel about them? Do you like playing card games? Well, I, I personally, I enjoy card games so much. 
I, I have invested so much money into different card games that I don't even play. I will buy cards to games that I have never played before. I have a lot of the Digimon TCG cards. Have never played a game of Digimon TCG. I have bought Disney Lorcana. I have played Disney Lorcana. I actually was going to my store and doing tournaments, but they do them two days a week, and I couldn't make one of them, and I don't generate enough points going once a week to win any type of tournament, so... They're nice to look at. <laughs> What's it like? No. And don't reply. What's it like? What kind of card games? Pyros. Fair eyes. I'm accompanied by Calamari and pickled plums on my journeys. Oh, it's probably Calamari. What? Can they really be considered my friends? Tis an odd thought. How do you define friendship? She is different from friendship? Friendship? I'll have to think about that one. There we go. And we will ponder and never get back to him. Sandro Musashi. Do you know Musashi? Yeah. Make sure, yeah. No, I kind of do. I know him. He's the one that dueled with Kojiro in one, right? The two sword samurai? Gardenia cats. I like cats. You don't mean to eat them, right? <laughs> what part of Asia is she from? Oh god. Cute. Cats are so cute. We'll just do that one. I really don't want to anger this woman. I feel like asking her <laughs> if she eats cats will anger her. Natsumi. Dinner! Yesterday was my mom's birthday, so I cooked dinner. Let's see. I made cheeseburgers. They were actually pretty good. That's not a normal food you find in Japan. That's great. Hamburger. I don't like hamburgers that much. Food. I want to try some time. Let's do that. It seems like a nicer thing to say. Moonstone. Up. 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 Dot, dot, dot. Please. I have no idea what you're trying to say, so please write the body of the email. <laughs> or, or dog. What about it? Up. Dog? What about it? Let's do that. And it's gonna be some pun like, what's up dog, that he's gonna come back with. Such colorful cast of characters. Every single one of them. Just something weird about them. None of them are just like a, an actual person. I mean, maybe Black Rose will be like an actual person. It's irritated easily. It's gotta be like her character trait, but still kind of like unsure about themselves and shows emotions like empathy and anger. That's a regular person. Well, I guess Marlo could be considered a regular person too, irritated at everything. I see a lot of those people. Marlo, my life. Go home after normal routines, take a scalding hot shower, drink ice cold beer on an empty stomach. This is the only moment I feel in touch with myself. Oh god, he touches himself. I don't think you should be saying that. I am not an adult, sir. Uh huh. Coolness. And you are. <laughs> Coolness. This is the only moment I feel in touch with myself. That just sounds totally cool. Let's do that. Let's boost his ego. Rachel, high school. I joined badminton as soon as I got into high school. Well, I was actually forced to join. Anyway, Kite, if you're thinking of joining a club, I think you should know what you want to do. Batman, isn't it pretty brutal? Uh, thanks. I'll do that. 
Let's ask about Batman. Let's find out a little more. Isn't that pretty brutal? Nuke Usagamaru. Books. Comedians need to read books. So I started last week, but I can't seem to finish it. I don't even want to know. I see. That's gonna be a long series. Who's the author? Maybe it was a joke and it just went over our head. News! What's going on in the news? We heard about weather. Maybe that's what's gonna happen. We're gonna hear about weather. Blackout affects 10,000 homes. Blackout affects 10,000 homes. Yesterday evening at 8 p.m. local time, Saba City experienced a two-hour blackout. Uses were blown in the security systems of all houses in the surrounding area. Lightning was assumed to be the cause of the electrical failure, but according to the Meteorology Survey, Survey Center, there have been no reports of lightning, so the incident remains a mystery. Disaster at Future Bay 21. At that floating brick city? Yeah. Disaster at Future Bay 21. Yesterday, a raging fire swept through Future Bay 21, the business complex located in Yokohama City. Hanagawa Perfer Perfecture? Perfecture? Injuring several people. It started in an area that included a movie theater and shopping area. Audience in the movie theater were engulfed in flames after fire alarms failed to warn people of the imminent danger. The cause of the fire and the reason for the alarm malfunction are still under investigation by the Kanagawa Police and Fire Department. And there we go. That's what's in the news. Now here's what's happening in your neck of the woods. Some of you know that was probably Al Roker. That was a, an, a, an attempt at doing an Al Roker voice. I'm not gonna tell you what weather's going on in your neck of the woods though. You can figure that out yourself. Let's go to the board. We got things on here that we need to do. Black Rose told us to check something. Hackers. Queen of the Dark. Queen of the Dark author Black Rose. Waiting for you in paradise. All right. Rachel's delivery service. Announcing new service. That's Rachel. I would like to announce new carrier service. When you're leveling up in your favorite dungeon and your items run out, but you don't want to go to the root town, or you need to give bloop to bloop, but you don't have the time, you've been in this type of crisis, right? That's when Rachel's carrier service is for you. I'll take the item to you, or for you. Fast, cheap, and certain. I'm at your service. For orders, please mail me with your job and place to meet up with you. Thanks. I just can't do a good accent for her for some reason. What's next? Anything else? No? I think we got like three different missions to do. <laughs> Including that uh, gob race. Still gotta go goblin racing. Up. Helma is one thing, but is Leos really going to come? The plan is perfect. I'm not a woman for nothing. <laughs> what did she do? I guess we should head to Netslum. Lambda, pulsating truth score for now. All right. Well, let's go do that. Let's get Black Rose and a random. Okay, here I come. 
I don't know, I want to say a random, uh, a low person. And Terajima didn't write us. Uh, 165. It's looking like it's probably going to be Terajima. It's Terajima. Thank you so very much for inviting me today. All right. Now let's go to Netslow. Pulsating Truth Score. Whoop. A little advancement in the storyline. Doesn't that seem like a fun thing to do? Are you two planning to contact Helba? Well, I don't know what you're both up to, but I'm afraid I deleted that post. It's no more. The truth is, she won't be coming here, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah? The hackers, they're having a good laugh. They find the current affairs to be quite amusing. What do you intend to do with them? I'm curious to know, tell me. Why do you say things like that? Because it's the company's policy? What? Leos, you should know by now that the problems are unrelated to Helba. What do you know? Do you think you're a hero now because of that bracelet? Don't make me laugh. Uh, so wear that thing uh, if you want. I will restore the system without the help of that abominable item. <sighs> Leos, that's not what I'm saying. I'm trying to tell you that if we want the same results, we should work together. I do not work with hackers. You pighead. It makes me want to bust your brains out if you have any. If he wasn't so thick-skulled, I'd have done it already. Helba, how'd you... A deleted post is meaningful, fraught with significance. Did you actually think I would pass up something that juicy? Deleting messages with clues that point toward the truth? Shameful. Even a pig head like you is aware of the present situation, right? Just because I'm silent doesn't mean you have permission to call me a pig head. Fair enough, but first <laughs> prove to me that you aren't a pig head. What? The players who fell into comas during the game continue to suffer. What we ought to be doing right now... All right. If it will stop your insistent demand, I will do it on one condition. You can prove to me how serious you are by obtaining a virus core from the lowest level of the dungeon. The Dungeon of Sigma, Sorrowful Sweltering Arena. That's not a problem. But you cannot use Data Train. Only under that condition will I join forces with Elba. Don't be ridiculous. What are we supposed to do if a data bug suddenly shows up? Understood. I agree. Huh? Are you kidding? Understood? What are you saying? If I do it, you'll work with Helba? Only if you fulfill the condition. It's nearly impossible to soften that pig head. I want you to show him that you're serious. Okay, this is getting totally out of hand. Hmm, so we can't use Data Train. That is going to be weird, though, if we do go into the dungeon and come across a data bug. Sorrowful Sweltering Arena added to the work list. Alright, guess we didn't need Terajima for uh, this little bit at all. And other than Stalking Betrayal Nothingness, which is a level 70 area, there's no reason for us to be in this server. So let's go to the server where everything's going on, where it's all popping and just going crazy. It's just party central here. See what I mean? All this craziness going on. We have new mail. All right, so I don't think that we're actually gonna go on and do uh, that save it though uh 
uh, we're not gonna go do that mission. I think what I am gonna do, though, since we've already been, like, reading messages and, uh, the board did a little story thing, uh, I'm gonna instead go do a golden goblin race, because we do have to go do that. So let's disband the team. Thank you. And, uh, go do that. I didn't even check to see if I need to do any type of... I don't. Okay. Well, I do need speed charms, though. Uh, let's buy. Let's see if they have speed charms. Here we are. Let's max out our speed charms. Word list. Detestable gambler scent. It's the next in line. And then we got expensive corrupted ridge line. Let me check the levels on these things too. 56, that's good. Dying grieving battlefield. 58, that's not gonna be a problem. Sorrowful sweltering arena. 62, eh, that'll be alright too. Detestable gambler scent, let's go! Probably gonna struggle with this one. God, I think it took like 30 minutes on the last one. <laughs> I remember editing the video and having to cut it down. Oh, it's the armored one. Finally, it's my turn, Gob. I knew you would come this far, Gob. I know you did, Zane. You always believe in me. I can always trust Zane to be there for me. Speech on. <laughs> Should I do any type of other skills? Do I even have any other like strengthening skills? Regime, regime. Um. I mean, I could try seeing if the hangman will. Work. Be like no. How about we try and see if the moon. Be like nope. Mm -hmm. Yep, so it's gonna be the good old fashioned tag time. They also don't have any type of element effects on them. And because they're fast, I don't think I can really uh, hit them with anything. They only have regular reps. Almost had you. Almost had you. Grab that. Avjuka. Lots of resistance stuff. Another Abjuga. That's stuck. Oh, they poison. There you go. to like beat them like alternate between hitting them and getting them all down like little bits at a time Mm-hmm. 
Can I hit them with any of the uh, tarot cards? Can I also give them with the SP down? Modulate. Nope. They can hit me with it though.
So that's the strategy, just to get up there and just keep at him. And now it's time for one of the... You wanna do that to me? Alright. I better do this to me. You go ahead and try and poison me, I'll just gain a little less. When I sit here at the front Getting stronger too. Gob, you are forever my rival, Gob. Gob. Oh, Zane, we will be rivals into the very end. Goblin gloves S. There we go. We took out that goblin. Let's gate out. Let's go back to town. Curious how long that took. I don't think it took anywhere as long as the last goblin fight. But I think now we figured out a strategy. It's too bad it's like third in that we just figure out the strategy. Uh, it's just to keep on one and keep using Thunder Dance or like just whatever skill you have with the weapon that you have. Eventually they run out of SP, so like you can keep hitting them and let them heal. They're not gonna have enough SP to heal them at some point. And then uh, go in there and just strike deadly. Strike fast. They get them out one at a time when running try and keep to the side of them eventually they're gonna like turn inwards to you and that's the time to strike anyways that is gonna do it for me thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next game of dot hack outbreak goodbye <laughs>